10 Situations Where Garlic Is Forbidden. In this video, I will answer the following questions. When is the consumption of garlic forbidden? Before you start cursing at me, I want to clarify a few things. Let's go. The Benefits of Garlic Garlic is an extraordinary food filled with beneficial properties for health. It is widely recognized for its antifungal, antimicrobial, and antiseptic effects. These characteristics make garlic a powerful ally in preventing various diseases. Additionally, it is a rich source of flavonoids, which play a crucial role in maintaining heart and brain health. These compounds help prevent serious conditions like heart attacks and cerebral ischemia and are beneficial for blood circulation, especially in the legs, preventing thrombosis. Another notable aspect of garlic is its antioxidant capacity. The antioxidants in garlic fight cellular aging, protecting the body against cellular degeneration that can lead to serious diseases, including some types of cancer. This effect is complemented by the anti-inflammatory properties of garlic, making it a surprisingly beneficial food for overall health. Contraindications Despite these many benefits, it is important to be aware of the contraindications of garlic. There are situations and groups of people for whom the consumption of garlic, especially in large quantities, may be advised against. This includes individuals who use garlic capsules or consume raw garlic regularly. However, this warning does not apply to moderate use of garlic in cooking as a seasoning. It is essential to distinguish between excessive use of garlic, which can have negative health implications, and moderate culinary use, which is generally safe and beneficial. Now let's talk about 10 situations in which garlic should be avoided. 1. Impact of garlic on digestive health. Garlic, despite its recognized benefits for overall health, can have varied effects on the digestive system. In some people, especially those with gastrointestinal sensitivity, garlic can cause discomfort such as bloating, gas, and indigestion. This is due to the presence of fructans, a type of fermentable carbohydrate, which can be difficult to digest for individuals with irritable bowel syndrome or intestinal dysbiosis. Additionally, garlic contains sulfur compounds that, while having antimicrobial properties, can irritate the gastrointestinal tract, exacerbating conditions such as gastroesophageal reflux and stomach ulcers. On the other hand, garlic has antibacterial properties that can be beneficial in regulating intestinal flora, helping to fight infections and improve digestion. Thus, the consumption of garlic should be balanced and adapted to individual digestive health conditions. For those sensitive to garlic, alternative forms, such as fermented garlic or fructan-free supplements, may be considered. 2. Effect of garlic on skin health. Garlic, known for its antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties, can also play a significant role in skin health. These antioxidants protect the skin against free radical damage, potentially delaying aging and improving overall skin appearance. Additionally, its anti-inflammatory properties can help treat inflammatory skin conditions such as psoriasis and eczema. Garlic also exhibits antimicrobial activity, which can be useful in managing acne by inhibiting the growth of bacteria that contribute to the development of pimples. However, it is important to note that garlic can cause allergic reactions in some people, leading to contact dermatitis or skin irritations. Moreover, direct application of garlic to the skin should be done cautiously, as its compounds can be irritating and cause chemical burns. Therefore, although garlic may have benefits for skin health, its use should be balanced with consideration of potential adverse effects, especially on sensitive skin or in pre-existing conditions. 3. Individuals with rectal and anal problems. The relationship between diet and anorectal health is complex and multifaceted. Among the various conditions that affect this region, diseases such as hemorrhoids, complications related to anal sex, papillitis, and rectal mucosal prolapse stand out. These pathologies, although distinct, have a common factor that can aggravate them, excessive consumption of garlic. Intriguingly, studies reveal that a diet rich in garlic can lead to the formation of acidic stools. But what does it mean to have acidic stools? Basically, when a person consumes a considerable amount of garlic, the digestion process results in the release of acidic residues in the stools. These residues in turn pass through the rectum, causing a series of discomforts. Patients with acidic stools due to high garlic consumption may experience symptoms such as anal bleeding, swelling in the area, burning, and intense itching, 
These symptoms are not only uncomfortable, but can also indicate and exacerbate existing anorectal problems. Therefore, caution with diet is essential, especially after anal surgical procedures. For patients who have undergone anorectal surgeries, it is recommended to pause the consumption of garlic and other foods that can acidify the stools. This preventive measure is crucial to ensure a smoother recovery and to minimize the risk of post-operative complications. In summary, diet plays a significant role in anorectal health and should be carefully managed to avoid discomfort and worsening of pre-existing conditions. Four, individuals with altered blood pressure. Garlic, known for its health benefits, also has a hypotensive effect, capable of lowering blood pressure. This aspect is particularly important for individuals with low blood pressure. Excessive consumption of garlic by these people can lead to fainting episodes or a continuous feeling of weakness, resulting in an even greater reduction in blood pressure. Moreover, garlic can interact with hypertension medications. In some cases, this interaction can be advantageous, reducing the need for multiple medications to control high blood pressure. However, for those who already have slightly elevated blood pressure and are under treatment, the inclusion of garlic in the diet can cause an excessive decrease in pressure. This can manifest through symptoms such as malaise, cold sweat, and even sensations of fainting. Thus, it is important to monitor blood pressure and adjust garlic consumption accordingly. Five, individuals using platelet aggregation inhibitors. Care in the use of platelet aggregation inhibitors is crucial, especially for individuals with a history of conditions like thrombosis, heart problems, heart attack, ischemic stroke, or carotid obstruction. These medications, including acetylsalicylic acid, known as aspirin, and natural alternatives like ginkgo biloba, play a vital role in preventing complications related to blood clotting. However, it is important to be aware of associated risks, particularly excessive water consumption while under these treatments, which can significantly increase the risk of bleeding. Signs such as digestive bleeding, whether from the mouth or the rectal and anal region, nasal bleeding, bleeding from the ear, eye, and gynecological bleeding can be indicative that the anticoagulant effect is more intense than expected. Women with very heavy menstrual flow should be particularly cautious. Moreover, excessive consumption of garlic can enhance the anticoagulant effects, requiring doubled attention. It is essential that patients are aware of these risks and warning signs, seeking appropriate medical guidance for safe management of these medications. Preventing complications and maintaining a healthy balance in anticoagulant therapy are essential to ensure the well-being and health of patients. Therefore, a careful and informed approach is indispensable for those using platelet aggregation inhibitors and anticoagulant medications. Six, individuals with frequent hypoglycemic crises or diabetics. Another relevant consideration is the effect of garlic on blood glucose levels. Garlic can help lower blood sugar, which is beneficial in preventing diabetes. However, for people with frequent hypoglycemic crises or diabetics, using hypoglycemic medications, garlic consumption requires caution. It can intensify hypoglycemic crises, requiring, in some cases, a reassessment of the medication or suspension of garlic consumption to maintain stable glucose levels. Therefore, it is essential to balance the benefits of garlic with its potential interactions with specific health conditions and related medications. Seven, individuals with HIV. Patients with HIV who are under antiretroviral treatment need special care regarding their diet and consumption of certain foods. One important aspect to consider is the impact of garlic on the effectiveness of these medications. Recent studies point to a complex relationship between garlic consumption and the bioavailability of antiretrovirals. On one hand, evidence suggests that excessive and daily use of garlic can decrease the effectiveness of antiretrovirals leading to a therapeutic effect less than expected. This phenomenon occurs because garlic can interfere with the absorption of the medication by the body, which is a crucial consideration for effective HIV treatment. On the other hand, some current research indicates an opposite effect, where garlic appears to significantly increase the effectiveness of antiretrovirals. Although this may seem beneficial at first glance, this increase can lead to an excess of medication in the body, resulting in more side effects. These side effects can vary and in some cases can be serious, negatively affecting the quality of life of the patient. Therefore, 
It is essential that patients undergoing HIV treatment have appropriate guidance on their diet, especially regarding garlic consumption. Careful monitoring and nutritional counseling are essential to ensure that antiretroviral treatment is as effective as possible, minimizing the risk of unwanted interactions and side effects. This careful balance between diet and pharmacological treatment is a key aspect of effective HIV management. 8. Preparation for surgeries. Garlic is recognized for its remarkable anticoagulant properties, which play a crucial role in thinning the blood. This characteristic, often described in popular language as making the blood more thin, implies that garlic consumption can significantly increase the risk of bleeding. This property is particularly relevant when considering surgical procedures, whether they are abdominal, rectal, gynecological, dental, or even neurosurgical. In view of this, it is strongly advisable to stop using garlic seven days before any planned operation and continue this abstention for another seven days after the surgery. The importance of this precaution lies in the fact that, during and after surgical procedures, the risk of excessive bleeding is a primary concern and the anticoagulant properties of garlic can exacerbate this risk. Besides these considerations related to surgeries, it is imperative to highlight the significant benefits that garlic offers for cardiovascular and circulatory health. Its beneficial effects extend to the heart and lower limbs, as well as to the brain, promoting more efficient blood circulation and contributing to the overall health of the cardiovascular system. Therefore, while garlic is a highly beneficial food, with proven positive effects on heart and circulatory health, it is essential to consider its anticoagulant properties, especially in medical contexts such as preparation for surgeries, in order to avoid complications related to bleeding. 9. Excessive use of muscle relaxants. The use of muscle relaxants, which are common in the treatment of muscle tension, requires special attention when combined with certain foods, such as garlic. It is important to be aware that garlic can potentiate the effects of some muscle relaxants, which can be a concern for those who use them frequently. Among the various well-known brands available on the market, such as Tandrelax, Mioflex, Three Musk, Contrax, and Dorflex, it is essential not only to choose the appropriate medication, but also to be aware of its interaction with garlic. This combination can lead to unwanted side effects, such as intense stomach pain and a general feeling of weakness. Such symptoms can be a sign that the body is reacting negatively to the interaction between garlic and the medication. Therefore, it is crucial to monitor any discomfort or change in well-being when using these muscle relaxants in conjunction with garlic. While it is not a recommendation to completely avoid these medications, it is advisable to use them with caution and be aware of possible interactions. This is especially relevant for people who frequently resort to these relaxants to relieve muscle tension. Staying informed about drug interactions and possible side effects is a vital part of the responsible use of any medication, thus ensuring a safer and more effective treatment. 10. Interaction of garlic with medications for the nervous system. Garlic is a medicinal plant known for its numerous health benefits. However, its impact on the efficacy of medications for the nervous system, such as antidepressants and anxiolytics, deserves special attention. Studies suggest that components of garlic can interact with these medications, altering their absorption or metabolism in the body. This phenomenon can lead to a reduction or potentiation of the effects of the drugs, which is particularly critical in treatments for psychiatric conditions. For example, garlic can influence the efficiency of selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, SSRIs, used in the treatment of depression and anxiety. In addition, high consumption of garlic can increase the risk of side effects or adverse interactions when combined with sedative medications. It is essential that patients inform their doctors about the use of garlic supplements or frequent consumption of garlic in their diet so that psychiatric treatment can be adjusted appropriately ensuring its effectiveness and safety. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.